Hi everyone, it's uh, Dutch Reefer here and uh, welcome to this latest Focus Friday video. Today I want to show you uh, some new equipment that I bought and as some of you might be aware I have tried uh, ATI uh, Essentials before as uh, an additive system for uh, uh, water uh, for water additions. Um, the essentials worked pretty okay, but uh, I decided to uh, get back to my uh, Balling Classic method, as that was what was I was using before. And um, now ATI has come up with a new product, or rather an enhanced product, uh, which is called ATI Essentials Pro, and I'll uh, I'll show you that in uh, in a few minutes. So first off. Um, Let's uh, look around the tank. So I'm actually uh, pretty happy that uh, the tank uh, seems to be improving uh, by the week. Uh, so as you uh, might see, if you look at a video a few weeks ago, you might see that everything is just a little less colorful and a little more, uh, well, dull colored. For example, this Montipora, which was rather brown before, it's starting to color up a bit better right now. It's starting to recover a bit. So that's great to see. Also, this uh, this uh, toadstool, a leathery coral, which uh, you might have seen in my previous tank as well, it also uh, starts to do uh, a lot better. Another thing that you might have seen just now is that the flow is uh, doing uh, weird stuff, uh, blowing particles through the air actually, or through through the water, because it's, it's not air obviously. Um, that's me partly because uh, the mustic that I'm feeding, but also uh, some uh, particles from the sand. Uh, so this goby has been uh, uh, working actively today, as does he always, as he always does. Um, also, as you can see, this uh, this uh, cyano uh, bacteria that was uh, covered covering these rocks in this sand has uh, almost completely vanished now. So um, uh, I think. It's partly because of this goby of course but also partly because of the flow I adjusted my flow uh, where there was a, a, a third max spec gyre uh, right here on the overflow box uh, opposing uh, these two gyres so there were three gyres in my tank and uh, now the new setup is that I have bought two JCOD SOW 15s uh, which can generate up to 15,000 liters of water movement uh, an hour, uh, so I'm actually uh, pretty happy with uh, with those. They have been in my tank for two days now, and uh, they are creating a much better flow than uh, with with the third max spec gyre. Uh, so I'm actually pretty pleased that I uh, uh, decided to uh, go for this setup. So um, as you can see or can deduct from the placement is that it's aiming a little bit downwards, as you can see. So the flow is going like this across the tank and then it picks up right here and then of course the gyres are moving in the opposite direction going upwards so these aim a little bit towards the water uh, so they're moving it back to the overflow box and thus creating a nice circular flow. So I'm pretty pleased and also this being the final setup now I have some uh, motivation to clean up this mess um, which I will do uh, in a few weeks uh, in two weeks I'll be a week off so just one week of working and then I'll have a week off and then I'll integrate this uh, stuff into this uh, cabinet so the uh, I will be reusing this uh, this uh, this one this uh, DJ switch I'll uh, make it inside this uh, this wall or this uh, door actually uh, and I'll make some uh, some ventilation in here so the, the, the switch will be here the adapters will be here I will move this up a bit so it has a little bit more air and then I'll add a ventilation here so that the heat generated by these uh, by these uh, converters or what do you call them transformers will be uh, can be, can get out of the closet because otherwise uh, as I've been told and which actually makes a lot of sense if these things overheat then uh, they will uh, uh, die earlier so that it, uh, it decreases their reliability so um, yeah finally clean this up so I have some uh, little bit more space to work with so 
So, I want to give you a quick uh, view of the boxes that uh, the Jake got uh, come in. So it's just a small box uh, which has uh, the pump itself, the adapter block, uh, a small uh, a power uh, power block, and, uh, uh, and the controller. The controller is uh, what you're used to with uh, with JCOG, so it uh, looks fairly the same as the old pumps, the uh, the OW, the SW, the RW. Um, they call it sine. They have sine wave technology now, which uh, which uh, is supposed to make the vibrations less and uh, make it less noisy. They also have integrated that in their return pumps. I'm actually using a uh, a, a DCP. Uh, 8000 uh, return uh, pump from uh, JCOD as well so uh, I really like these new uh, latest uh, uh, versions of these uh, pumps which do actually create a lot less noise uh, than before so another new thing, thing which I just uh, told you is the ATI Essentials Pro uh, as you can see they come in a large 2 liter bottles um, I'm dosing uh, 30 milliliters a day right now to start off with to see how that goes uh, and maybe I have to increase it a bit uh, but that means I can do about a month with those uh, but maybe it's too much, maybe it's too little, let's see at least these are uh, very concentrated uh, pre-mixed uh, uh, mixes so they're uh, as it says five times super concentrated two-part system um, which means that you don't have to mix them with water so it's a very easy system um, I'll show you I have uh, integrated it into the uh, the cabinet, of course. Just as with the old ones. Hey there. Huh. It moved uh, with us to the side of the tank. Huh. As you can see, this is the Puelaris. So it's a uh, sand sifting goby, which is actually doing a very good job of uh, cleaning the sand. So the two ATI bottles are right here. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Just drill a hole in the top, and then uh, put the, uh, the the dosing tube uh, through it. Um, you actually have only two bottles, so uh, it's an it's an all-in-one uh, uh, system, which consists of uh, two parts. One uh, contains mainly uh, the uh, DKH, and the other one the calcium, um, and the two other bottles, the one on the left, so this one right here, uh, contains a mix of uh, vinegar and vodka, as I've uh, told you uh, before in previous videos. And this one contains phosphate remover, as uh, my tank had uh, had actually uh, pretty elevated uh, levels of phosphate when I measured it last week. So that's uh, not a good thing, of course. And I want to show you this beautiful Acanthostrea aeginata. Um, usually it just looks very orange but as you can see on the bottom the growth edges they uh, tend to be a little bit more green yellowish so I'm actually uh, pretty happy with that as it is turning out of course also highlighted by this great uh, Ricordea underneath which is somewhat of a gold color so the uh, the ATI Pro I have also just added one one two days ago so I still have to see how that uh, develops uh, for now I um, well I, uh, I read a lot of good reviews about it so I have good hopes that it might be uh, a good uh, good two-part solution uh, which is uh, easy to use uh, let's see how it uh, how it works out uh, in the long run I will try it for a few months and then uh, I'll do a review about it uh, see uh, how it performs uh, especially compared to the old regular uh, ATI essentials which you have to uh, mix yourself so uh, it's an easier system it should be better let's see how it goes last thing I want to tell you is uh, show you is I was a bit stuck with this large Cifastrea which is a huge uh, a plate that came from my old tank from the back of the glass now that the gyre is gone I can start removing this uh, uh, well monkey hair as we call it which I told you last time and then reattach this uh, huge uh, Cifastrea so uh, my uh, my overflow box is uh, filled with coral again so uh, I'll do that this week so you'll see next week that's it for now have a nice weekend